I'm here with a new book for us to look at. This one we read in class one time and we had such a good time talking about it. So I thought it would be fun for us to read it again. Remember, rereading favorite books is a fabulous thing to do for your brain. This is called A Pet for Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. Now, Ted Arnold is just like our other author we really like. Remember Aaron Blabby, who writes the Pig the Pug books? Well, Ted Arnold also is the illustrator and author of his own books. He does the pictures and the writing, just like Aaron Blabby. Let's get started. Oh boy, a pet for fly guy. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy was the smartest pet in the world. He could even say the boy's name. Buzz. <laughs> That's his name. Buzz. One day, Buzz said, Fly Guy, we're going to go on a picnic. <clears throat> Buzz and Fly Guy played chase all the way to the park. Oh, it looks like Fly Guy's a good buddy. He's hanging out reading a comic book and his friend Buzz says, hey, let's go on a picnic. And you know what he does? He leaves his comic book and he goes and plays to have a good time together. They ate lunch and then they played together. See them standing on their heads? They looked at the clouds. Oh, this is special. Do you see anything in the clouds? I like to play that game in the summertime where you look at the clouds and you try to see things. This almost looks like a walrus to me or any kind of four-legged animal. And this just looks like a very happy grandma to me. It could look like lots of things to you. They watched other people play with their pets. Oh my goodness, look! This little girl has a bear for a pet and she's playing music. It looks like they're dancing. <gasps> An octopus for a pet? Ah, that would be so much fun. Oh boy, look at this porcupine with all of his quill, his quill. So his owner has to wear all that gear so he doesn't get poked. Oh, and a boy with a monkey. Look at all of these fun pets we could have. Whoa, said Buzz. Everyone has a pet. And here's little fly guy. This is called a speech bubble. So we know that these words right here are coming from fly guy. And fly guy says, no pets. Oops, that's right, said Buzz. You don't have a pet. Oh, here comes another bubble. No pets. We will find a pet for you, said Buzz. Here he is. <gasps> yes! He's lonely for a pet. He's excited. But remember, you have to take care of it, said Buzz. Oh, yes. And you have to play with it, said Buzz. Yes. And you have to feed it, said Buzz. Yes. He's getting so excited. Okay, said Buzz. Let's go to the pet shop. At the pet shop, Buzz came out with a puppy. It licked Fly Guy. Uh-oh. Maybe a puppy's not the right pet for Fly Guy. Buzz came out with a kitten. It whapped. It, it hit. Poor Fly Guy. Look, he's flying through the air. Buzz came out with a frog and it chased Fly Guy. Uh-oh, frogs eat flies. Run away, fly guy. 
That would not be a good pet for him. This isn't working, said Buzz. Only you can pick the best pet for you. Back at the park, Fly Guy found a worm. Ew, it was too slimy. Ugh. Fly Guy found a spider. <coughs> it was too tangly. Like the Fly Guy got stuck in the web of the spider. <coughs> fly Guy found a cricket. It was too jumpy. And it starts over here and it goes, boing, 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 boing. It's a very fast one. Buzz says, let's think about this whole pet thing. Yes. You need a pet who likes to play, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. And here's his thought bubble. Do you notice the difference? This is a speech bubble, which means that Fly Guy said it out loud, right? And then when you see little bubbles that have the little circles leading up to it, this means it's what's inside of his head. So we're getting to see what's inside of his head. And what it said was, you need a pet who likes to play. And look, he's imagining Buzz and him playing. You need a pet who can do tricks, said Buzz, just like you. <gasps> yes, is what he says out loud. And then look, there's in his head, him and Buzz doing tricks. You need a pet who's a good friend, said Buzz, just like you. Yes, and look at him, what he has in his head a memory of his friend Buzz and him looking at the clouds. And, said Buzz, you need a pet with a very cool name. And here's what he says. Yes, Buzz, Buzz is pets. Did you hear that? He said Buzz is his pet. Oh boy. Me, said Buzz. You want me to be your pet? Please. I never thought of that, said Buzz. Sure, I mean, yes. <laughs> There's just one thing about being your pet, said Buzz. You don't have to feed me because this is what flies like to eat, all the rotting and stinking food. So Buzz wants to make sure he doesn't get fed. <laughs> Buzz said, do you know who is the best pet in the whole wide world? Buzz, no, Fly Guy. Buzz, Fly Guy, Buzz, Fly Guy, Buzz, Fly Guy. Look, it gets super tiny. Buzz, fly guy, buzz, fly guy. <laughs> They're fighting over who is the best pet. What awesome friends these two are. I love it. Fly guy and buzz. So in your journal today, you can write about one of the pet experiences that fly guy has. And remember, if you're not writing in your journal, then what you're doing is you're doing your audio comment to Miss Jones and answering the question. So you are gonna get to pick which pet encounter you liked best. So if I go back through the book and I look after they go to the pet store, <gasps> there was the dog who licked him, right? Maybe you liked that one. There was the cat who whacked him. The frog who chased him. The worm who was just too slimy. The spider who caught him in his web. The cricket who went boing, 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 boing. And I think that was all of the pets that we saw. So you get to pick your favorite one, draw me a picture and write about it and how it went. You know, so like with the dog, he got licked and thought it was yuck. 
All right, boys and girls, I hope that you are having such a fabulous day today. And I will see you soon.